Oh, um, yeah, just physically, mentally, emotionally broken today. It's just boss after boss of people um, coming in, and we're so short staffed, it's unbelievable. So I started at seven, and I won't finish till midnight. Um, we just haven't got enough people to help at all. I mean, it's so busy. These are the people that just came in right this minute, so there's more down the bottom, um, and they just never stop. I mean, it's and it's every day as well. Oh, um, so it's been a very, very busy day. We've got like 400 people staying here, which is just unbelievable. Um, Syrians, Afghanistanis, and uh, Pakistanis. Um, but yeah, we've turned a bad situation into a pretty fun time, actually. We started with a game of limbo um, with the Afghans and the Syrians, um, and then it turned into a tug of war between the two. Uh, the Afghans won, <laughs> which was quite fun. And then, yeah, a car pulled up and we just started blasting out Afghan music, first experience of Afghan dancing. It's a right little party over here. Um, obviously, you know, it's fucking freezing. Oh, I wasn't meant to swear in these, but it's fucking freezing. Um, and yeah, people are shivering, but they're just like dancing to try and stay warm. We're getting sleeping bags over now, but yeah, it's just crazy. Um, so yeah, there was even a point where Pakistanis, Afghans and uh, Syrians were doing the Macarena together. Um, it was it was crazy. Um, but yeah, so it's been a very up and down day. I've been, yeah, I had like a nervous breakdown earlier. It was just, I think, the lack of sleep um, and yeah, the working here 14 hours a day or so just really got on top of me. Um, but yeah, you can't really let it when you see all the volunteers, uh, sorry, the refugees smiling. Um, you can't really let yourself get down. people are going to die tonight it's fucking freezing and um yeah the tents are full um people will come in late we've just had people turn up who are wet um so yeah really worried kind of panic stage like panic mode um all just hands on deck from a very emotional day at oxy camp um I'm, I'm absolutely knackered so many people came through today um so many that we didn't have enough buses so Hundreds have had to sleep uh, at the camp, and the, all the tents are full. So some are outside. Some of my good friends actually are outside that I made today that I spent hours with. Um, I'm actually really, really worried about them because there's no cover from the wind whatsoever. So they've got a sleeping bag, but it's so cold. Um, so yeah, we, although we had, it was really bad because the buses weren't running, and we turned it into a little bit of a party, which was fun, but. As it got colder and darker, it, it just got worse and worse and worse. And, you know, people were crying. Um, you forget, I mean, you can come over here, you can hand out water, um, you can hand out food, you can do all of that. Um, but sometimes you just have to sit with, with people when they're crying and when they're sad. And I went and sat with this woman um, and she, I just said, are you okay? She said, no, I'm not okay. Um my home is dead, she said, Syria is dead. She said, it doesn't matter who wins, Assad, ISIS, as they call it, um, they've killed my country, I can never go back. And she just burst into tears. None of them want to leave at all. They just want to, yeah, they just want to live happily. She said, I used to have such a beautiful country, and she started telling me about a garden. Um, she's named after, well, she's, her name's Daisy in Syrian. And she was telling me about the flower that grew in her garden and she'll never see it again. Um, and when she described it, I realised it was a daisy. And I said, no, 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 we've got those. 
and it made her happy for a little bit but she was just so sad that she'll never be able to go home again um, and when she told me she missed Syria, she didn't mean that she missed it because she'd been away um, travelling here. She meant she missed the beautiful country that they used to have. That's just ruined. Ruined for all of them. Um, so yeah, very emotional day. But I need to get some rest now anyway.